I wanted to shoot a short video today explaining the movement of the knee. I was putting away dishes just this morning and I found these two coffee cups and I thought it made a perfect example of the way the knee should move during normal stance and especially in the squatting position. So just to give you a little orientation here, the lower mug is going to be the top of our upper leg right at the base of your knee and then this upper mug is going to be the end of your femur. So this space in between is where the meniscus would sit and your patella tendon would run right along the front side here. Now normally as we're going through our daily activity when we're standing, we have a lot of contact between these two mugs. The meniscus is in between the two providing cushioning and lubrication, but there's a good amount of spread of those forces. Now unfortunately, when we're going into a squatting motion, what most op often happens is people will hinge their knee forward like this. And so you can see that as they're doing this, it's causing a point of pressure just where those two cuffs connect. What we actually want when we're doing our squatting is to have three motions of the joint. So when we do this we call it roll, slide, and glide. What it means is that when we bend the leg and do a squat we should see a rotation and a displacement of the knee. So you're going with this motion and you can see how this keeps the upper coffee cup directly above the lower one. This is what we want to see when we're squatting rather than a hinging out to the front like this. If we get into a position like this, it's actually the upper leg that's sliding off the front. This is called sheer forces against the knee, and that can cause a tremendous amount of discomfort and ultimately damage to the joint. So when you're going into those squats, keep in mind that we want to have this pivoting so that the upper leg stays directly above the support of the lower leg, rather than having that angle where the sheer forces come in. Now, the last thing that these coffee cups represent really well can be easily seen with the handles. So you can see here right now the two handles are aligned one right above the other. This is the motion that your knee can do as well. There is the ability for a rotation to happen between the upper and the lower leg bones. Most of the time we see this when we stand completely flat footed or with the knees locked. The legs actually rotate a little bit with the upper leg and the lower leg rotating in opposite directions. Now this provides stability for the knee because that rotational force can give us extra stability, but if we're doing it in a lazy way, we'll lose our position and we'll end up with extra damage on the knee. Now I want to show you a couple of examples of the knee movement. We'll roll that in right now so you can visualize how these cups represent the same motion that we get at the knee. Okay, the camera battery got a little bit tired, so let's just make sure that we have this properly visualized. Remember, this white cup is the upper portion of your lower leg, so the bottom half of your knee. And this other cup is the bottom portion of your upper leg, the top half of your knee. The meniscus would be the layer of lubrication and padding underneath, and these coffee cups would sit on each other just like this when we're standing vertically. When we go into a squat position with proper vertical shin, remember this white cup is the top of your shin bone, that's going to give us the correct pivoting for this upper cup. That's going to give us the proper movement for the knee. When we get into a non-vertical shin, meaning we've let our knees go far forward beyond the tips of our toes, this bottom coffee cup would be angled more this way, and the upper coffee cup now faces the sheer force of sliding right off the front. It's no longer stacked on a nice, capable base of support, but now it has to use the ligaments and tendons and muscular strength to prevent that upper leg from displacing forward. This causes discomfort and pain, but also a reduction in performance because you won't be as strong in any single squat if you lose that vertical shin. Let's look at it now on the human body and visualize these coffee cups as the upper and lower part of the knee. All right, let's think about the coffee cups now applied to the actual anatomy of our joints. So just like we talked about, the white coffee cup is going to be the upper portion of the lower leg and then the bottom half of the knee. And then our other coffee cup is the top half. So those are just sitting right on top of each other as these line up together. If we're standing up, we achieve this proper alignment of our coffee cups. You can see how there's a large base of support from the meniscus and the lower leg to that upper leg. When we go into a proper squatting technique, so if we're coming into our low squat with this vertical or nearly vertical shin, remember keeping those nose, <laughs> keeping those toes right behind <laughs> remember keeping those knees right above the toes 
So that's going to be the limit of our forward movement. This is what we mean by a vertical shin. What we don't want to see is a squat where our knees go way forward, maybe our heels come off the ground. This is no good. All right, let's apply the idea of these coffee cups and compare it to the actual human knee. So remember, the white coffee cup is the lower leg, and the, the uh, cream coffee cup is the upper leg. If I'm standing in a normal position, good posture, this is going to allow me to achieve this alignment from top to bottom. These coffee cups are stacked right above each other with good base of support. If we go into a proper squat, we'll be able to keep this shin mostly vertical. What I mean by that is in this position, the knee has pivoted. The knee is right above the tip of the toes, and we haven't lost that connection of the heel on the ground or had the knees go beyond the tip of the toes. This is giving us a knee neutral squat because this angle is just like our coffee cups, pivoting and sliding forward, still keeping a large base of support. When we go into an improper squat and the knees travel forward beyond the tip of the toe, this looks like this alignment here with the lower coffee cup becoming non-vertical, tilting forward, and then our upper coffee cup sliding off the front. Remember, that's the sheer force. And that's what's going on if you go into an improper squat position right here at the knee, the upper leg is sliding forward. And so we want to make sure to keep this like a column of support with that large flat surface at the top of the lower leg. That's going to be just like the top of this coffee cup right here. And this is going to be an important thing for you to think about when you're doing your squats, lunges, or any other movement, including your everyday stance, to keep the knee safe. All right, hope this was helpful. And being able to visualize it as these two coffee cups can be a small message that you keep in mind when you're doing your exercises in the future.